Now, I don't care what you're doing on the internet. I don't care if you're trying to grow a blog, trying to run an e-com store, grow an email list, doesn't matter. If you wanna get more of the good stuff, more conversions, the only thing that you really need to focus on is direct response marketing. What is direct response marketing? Think about it, okay. So we ask people directly to respond to what we're doing. So we ask them directly to take action and we give them good reasons to take the action that we want them to. So how can you implement direct response marketing to increase your conversions? Listen, this works if you want people to share your stuff. It works if you want people to join your email list or buy your products, it doesn't matter. Direct response is what, is, is what really separates the very successful people from everyone else. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've seen marketing agencies, marketers ignore this fundamental aspect of marketing because they think it's too salesy or it doesn't sound smart enough. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people who really should know better say, we don't wanna use that type of copy because our audience is more intelligent. That might be so, but the big crucial step in getting it right with direct response marketing, any kind of marketing, is making your message clear and easy to understand. If it's not clear and easy to understand, it's not gonna be effective. So it doesn't have to sound smart. Another objection I hear is that it sounds too salesy. That's the point, right? You wanna sell stuff, you wanna make money from this. So it has to, it has to sell. Bad copy, bad direct response marketing sounds overtly salesy. There's a way to sell stuff without making it sound too salesy. I'll tell you what that is. We focus on the gap. What's the gap? So your prospect has got an, uh, a problem. So they, they start over here and they wanna move over here, right? So you need to take them from that point to this point. And this, the bit in the middle, is the sales process. That's where you identify the gap, the things stopping them moving forward. To do that effectively, you have to be able to diagnose their problem. Listen, people are gonna to come to you, prospects are gonna to come to you and they're gonna say, I can't do this because X, Y, or Z. Often, that's not actually the case. What you need to be able to do is, is actually identify what is, what is preventing them from moving through that gap. So, you, as a knowledgeable person in your field, in your industry, you will be able to diagnose the problem faster and more effectively than someone who was coming into it for the first time with, with a problem that needs to be solved. So you will know how to identify that gap. And it's not so much about what they think or what they say. It is really about your ability to provide value. Okay, this is, this is a crucial element in direct response marketing. As salespeople, and if you're just writing blog posts or creating content, you are a salesperson. Even if it doesn't feel like it, you are. Right? If you want people to take action, you're in sales. Right? So it's our responsibility to, to fill in the gaps, to know how to provide value that helps your prospects or your blog readers to move forward. And we create content that matches that need. And it works even better if in that process, we show them how they initially, the initial thoughts that they thought were holding them back aren't actually true, that it's something else. This creates an aha moment things start to click and when they click in addition to that kind of aha it builds trust 
because you've helped them to see things in a new way. You've delivered value on a level that they weren't anticipating. And when you do that, they are more inclined to follow through with the actions that you ask them to take. So it was all really about identifying this gap and asking them to take more action that is going to benefit themselves when you when you get to the end of that process. So you help them out. And in doing so, I mean, listen, most, most of the best sales guys out there don't talk. They listen. On the internet, we can't do so, that so much, right? The listening is different. So we listen to the conversations in a different way with digital marketing. But the outcome is still the same, right? So we have to listen to, to what our audiences across across forums, Facebook groups, Reddit, subreddits, what people are, are, are talking about. That's how we listen. And then we monitor the, the metrics. That tells us how successful or how engaged people are with the message. So listening is still an important aspect, but we have, we just have to do it a little bit differently on the internet. So we listen and then we create content to fill in that gap based on that data. So that's direct response marketing. You should be using it. If you want me to talk more about this stuff, I can talk about marketing stuff all day. So let me know if you want me to, and I will. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll get them. Take care.